in 2010, you have an injury with your elbow. Mm -hmm. And then that off season, you, you go play internationally and then you mm -hmm. tear your, your UCL. Yep. So at that age, in that time in your career, when the injury first happened, what mm -hmm. were you thinking? And then the, you know, well, I can, I can recount, you know, that season, uh, right before the all-star break, um, uh, several weeks before the all-star break, my elbow wasn't feeling real good. So we kind of backed off in my throwing and things like that. And, uh, you know, I was able to pitch how effectively I was or how effective I was probably not as effective as I would have liked to have been. And then, um, right before the all-star break, uh, I believe I, uh, I took a shot, in my elbow and rested it for you know, a good, you know, use the all-star break as that mm -hmm. time to rest. But I also kept throwing a little bit over the break, came back, um, first start back was in Chicago, didn't pitch well. Um, and rem I remember during that game, not my elbow, not feeling very good at all. And going out the next day to play catch was the worst it ever had uh, up to that point had ever felt. Mm -hmm. And we went from Chicago to St. Louis and our trainers are like, you think you can pitch? And I'm like, well... Yeah, I'm I'm gonna pitch. Well, you know, so we we're I was getting treatment, things like that. I remember going to the bullpen in St. Louis, and I was in a lot of discomfort. But the more I th it was, and it was really hot. The more I threw, the looser I got, yeah. the better I started to feel, and I felt like I was good enough to pitch. The first pitch of the game, hitter hit a comebacker to me, and when I threw the pitch. I was like, oh, that was painful. And it hit me a comebacker. And I'm like, I, I can recount this like it happened yesterday. I caught the ball and my elbow was killing me. And I'm like, how am I going to throw this to first? And it was like, everything was in like slow motion. I lobbed it over, got the first out. Uh, next guy came up. Uh, I got him out rather quickly. But I wasn't able to pronate over the ball. That's where I was having discomfort. Next guy was Albert Pujols. I jammed him. He got a base hit. And the next I forget who the next guy was. And it was a fairly long at bat. And all I could do was throw fastballs. Mm -hmm. And I kept throwing. And I was like, to me, I was willing my way through the inning. Yeah. I'm like, get through this inning, get through this inning. Because I, I didn't think I was going to be able to pitch. Got a, a deep fly ball to center field for the third out. I walked off the field, and in St. Louis, you kind of the dugouts are kind of not down the line, but not closer to home plate. And I walked into the dugout and I looked at Charlie Manuel and I said, "I'm done." And I had never ever done that in my life. You know, walked up to the manager, especially after the first inning, yeah. and said I was done. So um, went in. Had a lot of discomfort, iced. I believe I flew home the next day, uh, got an MRI, and they did this gap test in my elbow with an ultrasound and determined I had like a grade two strain. So a grade, from the way I understand it, grade one is this, a grade two is this, and a grade three is a complete tear. Yeah. So I had a grade two strain. At the time, it's called the DL. Now it's called the IL. Right. Uh, put me on the deal, and um, I didn't pitch for the rest of the year. Um, Were you trying to pick up a ball and throw it, at, you know, a month later to see no, if you were still no, feeling okay? I, or I just... was just in total rehab mode. Okay. Um, ended up not pitching the rest of the year, and then decided, well, how am I going to find a job next year? Right, because mm -hmm. I wanted to play, mm -hmm. and I felt pretty good. I would, you know, towards the end of the year, I was throwing, playing catch, playing long toss, you know, all the procedures that I needed to do, and started to throw bullpens. But I didn't know where I was competitively, so uh, I went to uh, the Dominican Republic and agreed to pitch three games down there: one inning, two innings, and three innings. 
first outing through one inning felt really good. And the next outing I went out, I think I threw two innings, got through my two innings, and the next outing I went out and I got into my second inning and I threw a pitch. It was a right-handed hitter. And I remember the ball basically going through the left-handed hitter's batter's box and had excruciating pain. Was it a changeup? I, I, I don't recall the pitch. And I was like, I can't throw. I looked in the dugout. The manager came out, took me out of the game. And from the time I left the mound and walked to the training room, I literally had a golf ball hanging off Man. the inside of my elbow. So I knew I had damaged it. To what extent, I don't know. And at that time, we were living in Florida, went home, had an MRI, and uh, it was a complete tear. But on top of it, I tore my flexor pronator, which is that muscle mass that mm. attaches from your forearm to your elbow. So not only did I tear my UCL completely, but I had a, a flexor pronator tear. So I you were what age at the time? I was 47. 47. Yeah. And... Uh, had the MRI, went out to see Dr. Yoakum in L.A., and uh, I was sitting in the examination room, and he walked through the doorway, and the MRI was up on the wall across the room, and he was stood in the doorway, <laughs> and he goes, you tore that pretty good. I mean, just from there to there, he could tell that it was torn. And I said, yeah, I guess so. So he walked in, and I had known him before, you know, when we would play in Anaheim. You mm -hmm. know, the home team doctor always comes over to the visitor side. And um, so I'd never really been around him medically, but had been around him just to kind of small talk and talk mechanics and pitching and things like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's like, well, you know, I can fix that. Um and, you know, you'll be able to play catch with your kids and throw batting practice and play golf and do just, you know, normal functional things. And I looked at him and I said, <laughs> what do you mean? He goes, well, yeah, I can, you're not going to pitch again. <laughs> I said, what? Challenge accepted. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's exactly how I took it. He goes, well, I can repair both. But he said, I have a friend in New York at the hospital for special surgery, Dr. David Alchek. And he said he is right now the guy to, to do flex or flexor pronator repairs. He's had the most success. Um, I recommend you to go to him. So he called him and set up a, an appointment. I went up there and had it repaired, missed the 11 season, and then went back and tried to pitch with the Rockies in 12. And you know, probably uh, we had a good team, but fairly young. I mean, there was there were some veterans on that club, um, but didn't we didn't play well? And I was an old guy, not pitching well. So you know, I won. Ended up winning two games there. Uh, got released in I'm gonna say May, end of May there, and then I went and pitched back in Norfolk for three games. Actually pitched really well in Norfolk. Uh, that situation didn't work out. And then I came out to uh, uh, Vegas and pitched for the 51s, which at that time was a, an affiliate with the Blue Jays, and didn't pitch particularly well. Mm -hmm. And that was right at the minor league all-star, right up to the minor league all-star break, and that's when I decided I'm done. 